Hello, my name is Professor Chandrasekhar from the University of Finlay. I have had some questions about what is the Form D syllabus in USA. While there may be slight differences from college to college, as all the programs are accredited by American College of Pharmacy Education, uh, the syllabus are very comparable. They pretty much tell you what a pharmacist syllabus should achieve and they leave it to the colleges on some flexibility on how it has to be achieved. This being spring, the whole campus is blooming with flowers and we just had our graduation last Saturday. The courses on the left are called pre-professional courses and all students complete that in the first two years before they start the professional courses in the P3 year. This is where the major catch, catch is. In most Indian programs, we only do the professional courses. In US, almost all the undergraduate degree has a component which in, uh, requires you to master a little bit of languages little bit of culture, history, religion, etc. So even if you have done a four-year degree from another college, because you have not done any of those courses, you cannot be directly put at a higher level. And another problem is that most there are a lot of pharmacy students from India who may have done a four-year degree and a lot of science, a lot of pharmacy courses, but they have not done any biology. So you end up doing the biology courses and because you have to do them in a sequence the time frame does not reduce significantly so you have to do first 152 then biology 300 biology 310 biology 412 and they have to be done in sequence so if you have not done any biology you really lose significant amount of time so my suggestion will be that if you are interested in pursuing a Form D degree in US after doing a B Form or something, somehow during a summer or from another community college, please complete some of the introductory biology courses that will help you to get ahead. All of our students who transfer into the program most of them will join at the P3 level. So after doing all the prerequisites, which includes biology, chemistry, English, maths, etc., after having the core uh, courses, and uh, you will be doing the modules, which will be like 460, 463, 466, 69, 73, and 76. And then during this pharmacy curriculum, you will also be getting 50 hours of EP, Intermediate Pharmacy Practice Experiences, which is necessary so that you can finally end up doing the Advanced Pharmacy Practice Rotation in the sixth year. Before you go to doing the Advanced Pharmacy Practice Rotation, in the fifth year, spring semester, students do capstone where they try to put together all the knowledge they have gained into real life situations. This is just the second portion of the same page so that you can clearly look at it and how many credits are there. 